sleeves, the angels putting on the wrists. Our God is an awesome God. There's thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his fist. Our God is an awesome God. <laughs> Look, hey, the Lord wasn't joking when he kicked him out of Eden. Wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. He's coming soon, so you better be believing. Our God is an awesome God. Let me tell you something else. When the skies were darkness and void in the night, certainly in my night, he spoke into my darkness and created the light. He can do that for you too. <laughs> oh, now look, now judgment and wrath, yes, he did pour out on Sodom and he's going to pour it out on America, Mr. Biden. All this Roe v. Wade, all this innocent blood that's running down the street because people think a fetus in the womb is just a clump of tissue to be discarded like fecal matter. Yeah. Judgment and wrath, he poured out on Sodom. Don't you think he didn't do it? And don't you think he won't pour it out on America or Babylon? But mercy and grace he gave us at the cross, certainly not through Christianity or Christian. Hope that you have not too quickly forgotten <laughs> that our God is an awesome God. Hey, Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God. Get it? Yeah. I'm, I'm working on that. About five. You and your sister going to help? My queen. Of course, the Father through Jesus Christ will, he's our help. He's in your help. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. We're going to party. <laughs> and we're going to lift up the name of the divine Son of the living God. That's it. That's what we're supposed to. Re that's what we're supposed to do. Rejoice in the Lord always. That word means to throw a party, because all the forces of death, hell, and the grave have been defeated at Calvary. You Christians are defeated at Calvary. Christianity was defeated at Calvary. Still is. Satan has no power over anyone. Satan was stripped of all of his authority at the cross. Why then do you Christians put so much of the devil and Satan in your messages? His name shouldn't even come out of your mouth, especially from that holy book board, as you call it. Just remember, Satan is defeated. There's no devil bothering you. It's only my unrepentant soul that is adversarial against God's word and it's your unrepentant soul that's adversarial against God's word too. That's the Satan. And the and I act like the devil when I slander what God says and you act like the devil when you slander what God says. Ain't it right? Okay. Good. Hey, in case you happen to have tuned to this and you see me talking to you right now, you've reached a channel called New TV, Seventh Trumpet Television TV. This channel, from what I understand it, is a non-Christian 
non-religious because God hates religion. All religion is idolatry. Christianity is idolatry. Christian is idolatry. You see? God hates all religion. So it's a non-religious approach. And I understand that the advertisement says non-preachy, which means I'm not here to preach to you. I'm really not trying to relate to you. I'm only really trying to get a hold of the redeemed. If you're one of the redeemed, the Lord is speaking to you through this humble servant right now to your spirit. Hey, I didn't know anything about being redeemed. They certainly can't hear from the Christians being redeemed. And they're not redeemed. They're still trying to get redeemed. And by the way, Christians, you're going to go through the tribulation. Ain't no rapture for you. You haven't been obedient to God's word. Yeah. So, okay then. Good. We'll do that. We're going to all get together in some vehicles. Oh, somebody ready to put us on. All right. Well, to God be the glory. Let's party. <laughs> in Yeshua HaMashiach, in Hebrew, Jesus called the Christ. By the way, whether you're red, whether you are red, yellow, black, white, or brown, if you reject the Son, the Father will put you down. But if you receive Jesus Christ, black man, red man, yellow man, white man, brown man, okay. See if you're if you are. Let me check this out. If you're if, check this out, sis. If you are of another culture, if you're not an Aryan, you can't be a Christian no way. Christianity, Christian, those are Aryan teachings. Check out the Council of Nicaea. Just look it up. That's what I did. Okay, to God be the glory. Yeah. It's going to be a late night session. It's not going to start until 11 30, 12. You know, though the redeemed, we, we, we don't club. We, <laughs> we war. We party. We give God the glory because he doesn't share his glory with anybody. Hey, God ain't going to share his glory with you, Christian. God ain't going to share his glory with you, Christianity, Miss Christianity. All right. Hey, we're not trying to judge anybody. The word says judge righteous judgments. We're just letting you know that if you're a Christian, it's no different than being lost. Because by the redeemed standard, anybody that's anything else other than redeemed, you are lost. Now, maybe you can't be redeemed. I don't know. But if you can be redeemed... You won't want to be a Christian. You'll want to be one of the redeemed, like I am and like my uh, sister here's on the phone here. Thank you, Sister Maria. Okay. Hey, stick with Jesus Christ. He got up out of the ground on the third day. I don't know what that crap is the Christians preach, but you better get with the one who is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He's divine. Have you ever met God? Have you ever even heard of God? Did you know that God has a son? It still has a son. It ain't. It, and you know what? God ain't you and God ain't me. We weren't created by evolution. Did you know that? We were created by an intelligent designer. So when you see some evolutionists trying to tell you that, you tell them to go stick it up their rectal uterine pouch. Which. <laughs> All right. I look forward to seeing this. System. And to you. Remember. This is the only channel on YouTube that will help you connect to God and not make you a Christian, but you will be what he foreordained for you to be through his son, one of his redeemed who are redeemed already. You just need to hear his voice. He's looking for you. God looks for worshipers. Are you one of the redeemed? I hope so, man. I hope so, sister. 